Good morning, you guys, and welcome to part two of our Christmas house decorating. So if you watched my video last week, you saw that we decorated our entire downstairs. So the living room, dining, and the kitchen area. And obviously I'm sitting in front of our beautiful seven and a half foot Christmas tree. But we actually have a six foot tree that we used the last two years in our apartment. And I figured, why not have two Christmas trees this year? So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of styling upstairs and specifically in our master bedroom so with all that being said let's go ahead and head upstairs and get to some Christmas decorating alrighty you guys let's go ahead and head into our master bedroom hello I woke her up so that's not good but anyways I figured I can start with doing some light cleaning in here so some dusting some vacuuming and obviously making the bed as soon as the queen leaves which looks like she's leaving and so I figured maybe I can put that tree right there kind of in front of that window and doing like a little bit of styling on the mirror and that table and entertainment center again I want to keep it pretty simple up here I'm not gonna be like moving furniture around or doing anything crazy cleaned the master bedroom and it's ready for me to start decorating so I brought the six foot tree and these bins that just hold a lot of our uh, Christmas decorations that we've had and I didn't really purchase anything new um, for this space just because it's like a bonus Christmas tree decoration area the only new piece is gonna be this tree collar that I got off of Amazon and I just wanted something natural that kind of ties back to the mirror that we have in here and like the overall color palette which is going to be again just like keeping it minimal and neutral so um the rest of the decorations are just going to be everything that we've had and i think i'm just going to start setting up the tree over in that corner so we can get to decorating the tree Okay you guys, so the tree is up and I kind of fluffed it. I still have to do a little bit more to make it look better, but a few things here. So we've had this tree for the last two years. It's also moved twice and we got it for like $27, so it's done really good, but this year it looks like a lot of the lights are out and especially this like bottom row, which is weird and I don't really know how to fix it. I don't know if there's a way to fix it. Um, and then just like a random couple ones here and there but again this is like not our main tree so I think it's fine and I don't think I'm gonna go out and actually buy lights to add to it especially also because we're probably going to turn them off every night when we go to bed so it just wouldn't make sense to spend that money but the other thing is that 
I got initially this tree collar from Target for 40 bucks, and then I saw this on Amazon and I liked it better, and this was also 40 bucks, and it's obviously smaller. Now, here's the big hole. This is too small, as you can tell, the back is like open, and then this just looks way too big. And the whole reason I got a tree collar and not a tree skirt was to try and hide like basically that like stem or stand of the tree because it's obviously not pretty and we are not gonna have presents up here we're gonna have a presence downstairs with the main tree so that was the whole reason why I got a collar but that's clearly not helping with either one of them so I just ordered a tree skirt off of Amazon that's like neutral and it says it'll be here tomorrow hopefully so for right now I think I'm just gonna like leave these and wait for the tree skirt to come so i can try that on and then um hopefully out of the three one of them would be a good option and then i will just return the other two start putting the ornaments on and um, I'm just gonna use whatever is left over and again we've had these or whatever we got this year and I've also DIY'd a few really cute ones and I will link that video for you guys but I'm primarily going for like blue and silver up here and then just like the neutral tones I think I'm pretty much done decorating this tree and it looks beautiful and as you can tell I'm not a fan of like overly decorated trees and especially this one up here in our room I wanted to keep it very simple and just like kind of sparse I mean it's not really sparse it's got a lot of ornaments and stuff but not not too decorated and it just looks gorgeous and I really like um, the placement of it and I'm kind of thinking I might be able to use this tree color because I really like it if I can kind of just hide that gap but I'll have to just figure it out tomorrow when the tree skirt comes and it's about four o'clock right now but you know how it is it gets dark super quickly and I'm gonna lose the sunlight for filming in a couple minutes here so I think I'm just gonna have to pick up the rest tomorrow morning one last thing i went ahead and added this diy wreath on the mirror and i just love how it looks and it's perfect it goes with the theme it's neutral and it's beautiful and I just like really love it over there next to the tree and also the lights on the bottom row just magically came on just two minutes ago so I guess it's a Christmas miracle <laughs> I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning Good morning you guys I am back and ready to finish decorating our master bedroom for Christmas I put the tree up yesterday and I'm pretty much done decorating the tree so today I'm just gonna add a few bits and pieces of decor around the room so let's go ahead and jump right in
tree skirt that I ordered yesterday just came in and I went ahead and laid it down and I actually kind of bunched it up to hide like the bottom portion of the tree which is not really pretty and I've kind of wrapped it with a rope to keep it in place and I think I really like this a lot better than the other two tree collars because again the whole purpose of me getting the collars was to hide the bottom portion and they weren't really doing that and the one from Target was too big the other one from Amazon was too small and I just think this is like the perfect size and it looks pretty it looks comfy and it has that like natural um, color and look and I think Misha likes this better too right um, so I think this is a look that we're gonna go for um, for this tree up here Alright you guys, so that's it for this Christmas decorating vlog. I'm so happy with how everything turned out up here and I'm a huge fan of this neutral color palette, especially for our bedroom. And I hope that you found inspiration in this video if you're going for a more minimal and neutral color palette this year. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!